Welcome to Average Speak Kid. Um, today is going to be a new uniform slash setup review. Uh, this will conclude. This will include my belt. It also include my vest. I've never done a video on my vest before on the channel. I got this in, on Christmas. Remember, I've never used it. I've used it rarely, so I'm gonna start using it more. Uh, so first. I'm gonna start off with is I mean, see I took everything out of all my pouches. So I'm gonna load everything up. We start off with this side all the way my other. So we're gonna get my cookies slide. My keys will go right here. But I'm not gonna put those on yet right now. So handcuffs, check, firearm, check. Tool. Check. Look all the way around. Don't keep it. Oh, wait. I'm not going to put this on. I'll tell you why I'm not. Um, I'm going to have that in the in the, in the I'm going to put that. I'm going to wear that in the video later. Watch that. Oh god, what happened? Well, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Radio. Do a couple baton tests because it gets stuck, but it's good baton. I'm watching 60 Days In. Also, this uniform is um, based off of Sheriff Mark Lamb's season five Pinell County down in Arizona. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's like one of my favorite cops. That's the one that made me start wearing cowboy boots, doing patrol and stuff. So yeah, uh, let's get back to the video. Just want to say that. Grab this. Grab this. Slide in there. Grab it in there. Clip. Now, I also. This is for this is my sheriff uniform. I will not wear the hat, of course, during chases. This is regular standard. This is patrol. And I, I have the, the other one's patrol too. This is just like normal patrol. Like this is like what I'll casually wear. Like if I'm in Walmart, I'm wearing this. Or I take it and I put my vest on. It ma It does. It depends on what I would wear that day. Uh, but the, the, what the video is mostly based on is this. My vest. I've done a video in my office review, but I really never went in depth in depth with this. Grabbed shotgun. Oh, this has shotgun. I moved it so I can pick up the things. Right there. Put my notebook. Um, and this. So what I do is put it like that. Slide that in. Stays in there. I use these AR-15 pouches to conceal this. Like these aren't all over the place, so like I especially use this one for that. It's less of a mess. More AR-15. AR uh, going around. So now starting this side. A radio pouch. Well, doesn't matter. Um, pistol magazine pouches. A gun holster was here, but I moved it because it really didn't work. Another air pouch to hold those. I'll go around. See, we have uh, Velcro, and then we have Molly netting. Don't know why they put on the back. Have no idea why. To me, um, that just seems. I don't. Not, so I can't see. It's stupid. But I can see a couple reasons why. I just can't see like you know my main main reason why. Um, but yeah, and that's the vest. Now, how I would wear the vest? Here. Take my hat off, place that right down. I grab the vest. This is not a plate carrier. I want to get one. Talking, thinking about an idea and stuff. But besides, put this on because this is my burnout vest. I like the vest. Don't care. I'm on wrong. So grab this. And since we have 
put like the radio poking and everything with but above everything make sure it's on. Push that in. We said that. Sip it all up. I do and I do this. To make sure it's okay. Now this takes up room on your chest. See these? Like these are like bow capers to it. I don't worry about them. Shift them in like this. Shift the other one in. Go to the side ones. Shift it in. Go to this one. Shift it in. Now there's a couple back ones. Look this whole piece. All of it goes in. All of it goes up into that. I look at the side, see? How it's like nothing moving? Strings for me tightening it would be flopping. I personally think that it, it looks unprofessional. So I put them in this AR, AR pouch and this AR pouch. Um, now on with how I would wear this. So, I have notes, everything else. So for example, talk to someone, you know what I mean? Writing stuff down, writing a ticket. Writing a ticket. Close that. You know what I mean? I really don't use these for anything. I would. I just don't. And then, so, if I really wanted to, I could take this, grab my baton. My baton can go in there. I really don't care if it does go, but I'd rather have it here. So, like, you know what I mean? Um, or if I just feel like I really don't want that, because if I start wearing this, I'm most likely going to start taking off uh, my radio holder. It's getting old, and I really need a new one. So I would do. Detach Get my radio. This is a bow thing, UV5R. Find this on Amazon. 30 25 25 uh, 30 bucks. Mine said, um, I can't charge mine because my brother, he fell off the couch and he broke mine. So right now I'm like, I don't use my, my radio for anything. So now it, this is the part that gets me angry. You have to find the right spot. What? See how it's like that? That can stick out all at once. I really don't care. Now, what did I do? I attach it across. Right into. Or I put it right here. See, I'm fine putting it anywhere. But I like putting mine. What I'll do is I'll do this, so in case I like to end up pursuit. Hold on. So see, I keep like eyelets right there. 10 4, 10 4, what do you mean? Well, I can let it rest like this because I really like the setup. I think it looks cool. So, you know, I'm fine with how it is set up right now. Grab my. I grab my hat. Crap, forgot to actually put my hat. Um, yeah, I grab my hat. So, as you can see, it's a nice hat. I personally like mine. 
I got this for $35 at the first strawberry festival. And I did point this forward. It's a little small. A little small. But I, I, I came up with it. I want to move you on to a different position to where I can have a couch. You can see how this actually be all on. See how this looks? See how this looks? It looks good. So you see? Looks. Just let that hang up. Am I? This isn't going to go anywhere. It's nice. It's big. Pull my gun out. I don't care how shape we form the position. Check it out. How am I going to paint it? See? Fake State trooper. Fake trooper over there on my door. Um, this is sheriff, or just general. Yeah, this is sheriff for special school high patrol events, or events I'm involved in. I can wear all this. Time. I will wear this. Or I have something very, very formal. I will wear that. This is my sheriff shirt hat. So if I go, if I have to go down to an event. I uh, would say down in Clearwater or down in Orlando, then where I'm allowed to wear this, I wear it with this. Because that is, if it's not special, special, if it's a wedding, that gets worn. But if it's like a birthday party and crap, like we're playing cops and robbers, this gets worn. Not bad. That's way more expensive than this. $55. $35. Yeah. Yeah, that's The vest. The vest. I really don't care. Don't ever really care. I can wear that anyway. No, I don't care. Um, videos will get less though, because now I have football, and I mean, lots of stuff's happening. Let me yeah, see, firearm, point that. See, I still have a clear advantage of getting my firearm out and drawn. Or if y'all want to, stuff it into your vest. Well, it doesn't look like a difference. See, I already go point, point. So I, I don't do this whole shebang. I go, I hold here, point. So I shoot with my left, but I write with my right. It's confusing, that's kind of what it is. Point that, pull, hand. See, my fingers automatically, this is automatically my phone. Like, watch. I'm not, my brain automatically knows to transition to my left hand. Um, that's automatic. Um, but yeah, basically if you're on the belt, get this. $55, this is worth it. My soul starts rolling out right. This vest is worth it. Because then you have like a water pack in the back and like other um, hiding spots. So yeah, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Get ready. Or um, Cops and Robbers Sheriff series and get more of FHB and Bounty Hunters. Next time, see ya. And howdy, folks. See ya on the next one. FHB Kid out.